Hi guys, welcome back. It's me, Joy's Love, the number one imprints. And I'm going to be doing a love reading for my Taurus. And Taurus is for your person. How do your person feel about you, Taurus? Let's get into it. Um, before um, we get into it, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Hit the bell on the side for all the updated videos when I post them. If you're like a personal reading or donate to the channel, the information will be in the description box below. Check that out. And I pre-shuffled the decks already. Let's pray and get into it. God, so spirit, I ask that you come into me and let me say your words and not my own. So I can give Taurus and their person the best reading possible, as accurate as possible. Thank you, spirit. Amen. So from your person, Taurus, I'm feeling some good energy. I'm feeling like a laugh. But let's see what's on and popping with my Taurus and that person. All oh, shucks. Your person feel like you're doing some dirty work. You feel like you're doing something behind their back. You, they feel like you're being sneaky of some sort. Okay? And they are, you know, ready to call it quits. They say, this is why you guys are, you know, in conflict and in arguing and breaking up now. It's because you, Taurus, is continuing to do things behind their back and they don't trust you as far as they can throw you. So they just really ready to, you know, isolate themselves from this situation for a little bit so they can be enlightened on what to do next with you. You know, because they really do love you. They look at you like you was everything to them. They, you, they look at you like you as their soulmate and they just really want to give you that love but they feel like that you're not putting in the work that it takes to keep them they feel like that they doing the most work in this union and they just ready to level up they ready to you know get the love and have the new beginning and you know just feel free and feel how i felt when y'all first met but they saying they <coughs> seriously Okay, so something going on with their throat chakra. Maybe they're not speaking up for themselves at this point. Okay, but it is like, you know, you could be dealing with some type of fire. I mean, water sign as well. A water sign, um, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. And it's just like your partner loves you so much and has so much passion and feel like you are their soulmate. But they don't trust you they feel like that you're doing things behind their back and it's just breaking y'all up they is, are stuck they are tired of being in this stuck and stagnant energy of you know feeling like you know like you like have to, having to watch you and to just be paranoid about where you at what you're doing how you're doing it and they just wish that you would put in a little bit more work in you know, to, you know, kind of just meet their standards a bit. They are, you, they do feel like this is a very spiritual connection. And they just really want to take the bad with the good and, you know, come up with something to where y'all can meet at the middle. But it's going to be a conversation that's going on about this situation. You guys could be in a long distance relationship, you know, and this person is ready to come and, you know, express themselves to you. Okay, um, they feel like that it's a conversation that needs to be had because they're ready for their emotions to start to flow. They're ready for a new beginning. They're very tired of it, stuck in stagnant energy, and they wish that you will, you know, grow up. I'm just going to say it. They feel like that you're acting very immature and you're not giving them the love that they um, desire. They feel like that they're going through so much with this situation and they've been, they, they're carrying a little bit too much than they can bear. So, but they're still off in their heads about giving you the love that you deserve, that you, that you, giving you the love that you think you want because, um, they do see you as their counterpartner in so many ways. They really care you. They like um, real passionate about you. They think that you are so beautiful and so handsome. And they just wish that you will get on board and, you know, let this train go. Go for a nice ride before it crank out, okay? If you know what I mean. 
but they're, your person is, you know, back and forth in their thoughts, you know, trying to act like they don't see a situation because they, they really care about you. But their emotions is all over the place, and they're not digging that, um, Taurus, okay, so they, they're ready to stay, they're not gonna leave, they wanna stay with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, they wanna work it out with you, but they just need some alone time, so that they can you know, listen to the voice of God and make the right choice moving forward you know, maybe they can be enlightened on the situation a little bit more and see it in a different aspect, okay, so yeah, with the temperance here they just need some time alone, so they can, you know, re get rejuvenated rejuvenated and refreshed and come and make the best out of what it is that you guys are um, dealing with. The outcome and advice for you guys, my cross watchers and my Taurus is gain confidence. You have to gain confidence, more confidence so you know the right choice can be made moving forward. So you can just, you know, leave the past where the past is at and start again new. Okay? Um, if that's a new way of thinking, a new way of being, whatever it may be. The outcome and advice for this situation, you know, take your time um, in this situation because you do, you are very spiritual and you're very, your person is very spiritual and your person is holding back at this time because they are ready to level up and they are determined to level up no matter what it takes. So please be mindful of this, Taurus, and step your game up if you don't want to lose out on someone that really, really loves you. Okay? Well, uh, good luck with everything. I'm going to give you an oracle card to sum this up. Thank you, Spirit, for this message. I appreciate for the cards already. Thank you, Spirit. And you have four of fire. Contentment, peace, and abundance. A happy home life. The successful completion of a project. See, you got a little bit to go. It's almost over. You know, turning the wheel and letting it turn so you can get on the other side and enjoy the fruits of your labor. It's time to stand up and take responsibility for you and your space so that you can resonate good energy and so that you can be in a receptive mode of accepting good love back in. Because this person that you're dealing with has a whole bunch of love for you and it looks like, you know, good and you're messing it up with deception someone is wearing a false self a mask in this relationship it's time to just be right it's time to be right you know you got somebody that's in your corner that loves you like this it's hard to find love you know someone that feels like this energy where you can be yourself or you can still get love and, 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 and adornment when you acting the way you act Toughen up. Fix yourself. Take the mask off. Dig deep. It's time. Grow up and, and level up. Grow up and stop playing games. Okay? Let me give you a... Um, well, that's it. That's it. That's it. I'm done. All right. Well, good luck with everything, um, Tauruses. I love you guys no matter what you do. Just good luck. And I, I want y'all to be happy. So that's why I'm a bit passionate. And I want you to, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's always good to be yourself. It's always good to treat someone how you would like to be treated. Okay? Let go of the deceitful, deceitful ways. You know, get up out of this stuck and stagnant energy so that you can be happy under the union of God's so or spirit. You don't want this to happen because you're almost there. Your person is one foot out the door with her body. She got one foot in. Everything else is out the door. The body, the arms, the legs, the, the everything. So you better fix your ways. That's my advice. I love you guys. Speak your mind. Gain your confidence up. And, um, you know, good luck. Until next time, it's me, Joyce Love. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Uh, put a comment down below if this energy resonates with any of you. I love you once again. And until next time, it's me, Joyce Love, the number one empress. Be safe. Wash your hands. Wear your mask. And peace out.